Well, it's October, and what would October be without doing a jack-o'-lantern? So, today's mob head for our Minecraft blanket is the snow golem, also known as the jack-o'-lantern. So this guy is player constructed. You have to stack a couple of blocks on top of each other and then put like a pumpkin up on his head. Um, I think. And this thing wears the pumpkin like a helmet. Which sounded pretty cool. For this project, I am using Premier Yarns, their basic collection, which is a budget yarn. And filling in here and there with different colors of I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a 6mm crochet hook, and all my graphs are 8x8. Eight 8x8 by eight. Eight by eight meaning 8 bobble stitches wide, 8 rows tall. Today's colors are orange, it's a jack-o'-lantern, cocoa, which is a light brown, mahogany, which is a darker brown, and fern green. Just the four colors. Check those scrap bins. I'm telling you, this is a good way to get rid of some scraps. Okay, so I already told you about the graph and I told you about my hook size. Now you know about the yarns. So the next thing is the stitches that you need to know in order to do this project. You need to be able to do a chain stitch, a single crochet in the back bump, a regular single crochet, and a bobble stitch, which is five double crochets together followed by a single crochet. In this next segment, I'm going to show you how to do all those stitches as well as changing colors and doing the border around the block. So if you're new, you're going to want to stick around for this. If you are unsure about how to do like the bobble stitch, then you are going to want to stick around for this. But if you have already seen this segment and you are quite confident in what you are doing, please skip ahead. Oh, about 12 minutes and you will be able to see what the snow golem jack-o'-lantern looks like. So go ahead and watch that now. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make a slip knot. Each one of the graphs you will chain 16 plus 1 for a turning chain, so a total of 17. You will then turn and do a single crochet into the back bump. In 16 of the chains, you're going to chains, you're going to skip the first one. You will back bump single crochet all the way across till you reach the end of the row. And when you get there, you should have 16. Okay, so I have 16. It should look like this. Both sides look nice. Makes it easier for when you add the border. So for the first bobble row, you will chain three. Turn your work, and we're going to do four double crochets, incomplete double crochets, into the same stitch that our chain stitch attaches to. So you yarn over, go through the stitch, pull your yarn through, and go through two loops, leaving one on your hook. You now have two. Yarn over, go through that same stitch, pull your yarn through, go through two loops, you now have three. So you can do that two more times. We now have four. So we need one more. And that makes four. Okay, so we have a total of five loops because of our chain three. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you want to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And the very next stitch, you do a single crochet. That single crochet is what gives you the nice pop-out bobble. That makes our pixel or our bit. 
So each bobble stitch after the first one in every row, you do five double crochets together, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that for a total of five times. So that was three, four, and five. And we're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops. You had six on your hook because you had one loop remaining from the single crochet. Then you follow that up with a single crochet. And then repeat that for the next bobble. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, this is three, and four, and five. See how we have six loops? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over and go through all six and follow that with a single crochet. And see how our pixels are popping out? Okay, so you will do that all the way to the end of the row. When you get to the end of the row, your very last stitch is a single crochet. And it should look like this with eight bobbles. Yes, it's going to curl up at first. As your work moves along and it grows, it flattens itself back out. So for the next row, which is the beginning of row two, we do a single crochet, turn our work, and then we're going to place a single crochet in each stitch. When you do above the bobble, make sure you're only getting those top two. Don't work down into this. You're going to put a single crochet into the single crochet and a single crochet into the top of the bobble all the way across. And when you make it to the end, you should have a total of 16 single crochets. So it should look like this. A row of single crochet all the way across. Then you will, for your next bobble row, you will chain three, turn your work, and do the four incomplete double crochets into the first stitch. The first stitch meaning the same stitch that your chain three is connected to. Pull through all five loops and follow up with a single crochet. So when you get to the part where you're going to do a color change, you want to do it in the single crochet. So pull your working yarn forward. Bring in your new color, leaving a nice tail so you can work it in. And you're going to complete that single crochet with the new color. And, you know, pull it snug, not super tight, but pull it down snug. And we're going to work over top of those. So we do a bobble because our color change was in the single crochet. So that's two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through them all, and a single crochet into the next stitch. Now this particular one has two of the black um, bobbles. So do the second one. It's two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all six. Go to do my single. Now I need to go back to my other color and I carried it with me. I don't always carry it with me, but these are such a small surface that when I only have one or two blocks of one color, I will carry the color with me if that is what comes next. Okay, so I'm going to pull my black forward. 
bring up my other color, complete the stitch with that, and we're going to tighten it down. You know, just make it a little snug. And then we go right into the bobble stitch. Single crochet. Okay, so that looks nice and clean from the front side. Oh, I didn't bring my scissors with me. Okay, so I'm just going to let that fall forward there and move on to my next bobble. Okay, so depending on which pattern you're working on, you're starting to see it take shape. You will continue this process for all eight rows and then we will come back for the border. Okay, once you've completed your block, you want to put a border around it. Each of the blocks will have a border just to make them easier to sew together. So you're going to start wherever you would like. And some people like to start in corners, some people like to start on the actual edge of it itself. So you're going to single crochet into each stitch across the top. and each stitch across the bottom. When you get to the corner, it is a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the same space, chain two. We're going to work past the bobble and into the stitch where the bobble and the single crochet meet on the side. Sometimes it can be tough like that one was. Okay, chain two, skip over the bobble and come into that single crochet. Was a little easier. Chain two, skip over the bobble, go into the single crochet. So that is how you handle both sides, and the corners are single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Across the bottom and the top is just simply a single crochet into each stitch. The second round of the border is double crochet in each stitch across the top. Okay, the corner gets five double crochet. Two, three, four, and five. When you come down the sides where you did the chain two, the chain two gets two double crochets, and the single crochet gets one double crochet. So two double crochets into each chain two space and one double crochet into the single crochets. So you will work that all the way around the top and bottom one double crochet in each stitch, all four corners, five double crochets, and the bobble sides where the chain twos are, two double crochets in the chain two space, one double crochet into the single crochet. And once you complete that second round, your 
block border is complete. So it's one round of the singles and chain twos and one round of double crochets. And it looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, so that looks pretty darn easy, doesn't it? Yep, it sure is. Once you get the hang of that, get in the groove, changing colors and all that, then you'll just whip through these squares like they're nothing. So our October surprise is a snow golem, which is a jack-o'-lantern. And here's what this handsome little devil looks like. Kind of looks like a rotting jack-o'-lantern. He's got the two shades of brown for his eyes and his mouth, the orange, of course, for his pumpkin shell, and the green is the border. So I think he's pretty interesting looking. And that's what the back looks like. The front, you can see the bobble stitch, how they pop up, and that's our pixels or our bits for our pixel art that we're doing with our yarn and our crochet hook instead of crayons and markers. So, what do you think? Are you all caught up? If you are, and you can go to this next video right here by clicking on that box, and you have another one to do.